Hi everyone, welcome back to our distance learning. It's me again, Teacher Jenny. Today is Thursday, April 8, 2021. And for our first session, we are going to study Writing Bright One, Unit 7, Verbs and Sentence Patterns 2 to pages 71 and 72. Now let's have a recap from our previous lesson from page 70, Writing Basic Sentences. Part 1, we are going to complete the sentences in the simple past tense using the given words. Part 2, complete the sentences using the words in the box. As you know already, everyone, I ask you to finish this part 1 and part 2, right? Now, let's have the answers. For part 1, on Mother's Day, a lot of things happened to Mrs. White. Complete the sentences in the simple past tense using the given words. Now, here's the answers, everyone. Her husband read her a newspaper. The bad news made her angry. Number two, her friend sent her an invitation card. The invitation made her excited. Number three, her colleague brought her a lot of work the work made her tired number four her son showed her his bruise it made her worried number five her neighbor told her goodbye their leaving made her sad so everyone these are the complete answer for part one so check your answers everyone now for part two, complete the sentences using the words in the box. So we have a model airplane, a new bike, a chicken sandwich, and a new shirt. Number one, Mrs. Harvey made Alex a chicken sandwich. He is eating. He is eating it. Number two, Mr. Harvey bought Alex a new bike. He is riding it. Number three, Mr. Harvey made a model airplane for Alex. He is playing with it. And number four, Mrs. Harvey bought a new shirt for Alex. He is wearing it. So for part two, everyone, here's the complete answer. I hope that you check your answers as well. Now, let's continue this writing basic sentences to pages 71 and 72 so make sure that you answer this one first before watching this video okay now for part three look at the pictures and write about what they did in the simple past tense part four complete the sentences by adding a proper direct object and object complement number four Complete the sentences by adding a proper direct object and object complement. Number five, a complete sentences by adding a direct object and object complement. Number six, correct the underlined mistakes. And part seven, find the mistakes and correct them. So let's begin. For part three, everyone, here's the answers. Zoe and Sue did many things today look at the picture and write about what they did in the simple past tense so we have show her writing write a letter read a book tell a funny story teaching teach painting give her cities so example in here zoe read a book to alex so let's answer this all together number one Zoe wrote a letter to Uncle Brian in Europe. Number two, Zoe showed her writing to her father. Number three, Sue gave her cities to her brother. Number four, Sue taught painting to Alex. Number five, Sue told a funny story to her mother. So these are the answers for part three. Now, let's move on to part four. Complete the sentences by adding a proper direct object and object complement. So, here's the example. 
Jack was on TV show. The TV show was very popular. He became famous. Then, the TV show made Jack famous. So let's answer. Number one, Carl invented something. He made a lot of money. He became a millionaire. The invention made Carl a millionaire. Next, number two, Nicole was in a movie. The movie was a great success. She became a star. The movie made Nicole a star. Next, number three. The weather was bad. Laura stayed at home all day long. She became depressed. The weather made Laura depressed. And number four, Henry was in the battle. He fought bravely. He became a hero. The battle made Henry a hero. And the last one is Jenny heard great news. Her favorite pop star will come to town. She became excited. The great news made Jenny excited. So these are the complete answers for part 4. Now let's move on to our part 5 everyone. Complete the sentences by adding direct object and object complement. So here's the example. Jim played a game. The game was difficult. Jim found the game difficult. Now let's start. Number 1. Zoe watched a movie. The movie was boring. Zoe found the movie boring. Number 2. Brian visited a place. The place was interesting. Brian found the place interesting. Number 3. Mr. White met a man. The man was strange. Mr. White found the man strange. Next, number 4. Mr. Harvey bought a toolbox. The toolbox was useful. Mr. Harvey found the toolbox useful. Next, number 5. Sarah looked at the map. The map was helpful. Sarah found the map helpful. So everyone, these are the complete answers for our part 5. Now for your practice, everyone, part 6, correct the underlying mistakes, and part 7, find the mistakes and correct them. So you have to focus on the direct and indirect object for the part 7. Once you finish these two parts, everyone, don't forget to send your answers to your teacher's personal telegram. So this is the end of our first session, everyone, and we will see you again in our second session. So stay tuned, everyone. See you later.